Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and manage a backup desk for multiple computers from only one central console with Al May Centralized Backupper. Please keep watching. Install Alme Centralized Backupper. Open it to get to its interface. Here is a quick star guide we can follow. At the toolbar here are five tabs. Let's click on it successfully. The first one is the home page. The second one, task. We can create new task or make centralized tasks management under it. Next, computers. Under this tab, we can see all the available computers within LAN. And under monitor tab, we can see all the online client computers and their status. Under the Log tab, we can see the records and results of the operations that have been performed, such as successful operations, failed operations, and error prompts. Before we begin to make the task, the first step is to install Agent Setup on the computers we want to manage for subsequent operations. Here on the left side, we can see uncontrolled computers. All the computers within LAN will be listed here. And if we've controlled one of them, it will be listed under the Controlled Computers tab. Then click Install Client Program to install Alme Centralized Backup Agent on the client computers so we can control them. In this pop-up window, here are two options provided. Menu Client Installation or remote client installation. For the first one, we need to copy the package to other client computers. Click Next, we'll see the package. We can also click here and select Client Package to create a client package. Now we can copy this package to other client computers manually. The second one is to directly install the package to client computers remotely. Select it and click Next. Then it will detect it all the computers with LAN automatically. If we cannot find the specified one, we can also click Add Computers. In this window, we need to input username and password to install the package. And because of this, we will automatically obtain controls over these client computers. If we install client programs by the manual way, we still need to gain control over them. So the second step is to request control for these client computers. Under Uncontrolled Computers tab, take the client computers and click Request Control. Here are two options. Select the first one by entering accounts. We can get control by entering client computers usernames and passwords. and select the second one by sending a message. All the client computers will receive a request and they just need to click Agree once the request window pops up. Then we will see Request Control Success and click Done. 
Now click Controlled Computers. Take all the controlled computers and select Client Register. In this window, just input our client licenses. If we have too many client computers, we can also click Batch Input to import a TXT file with all required licenses and click Register All. After all this preparation, we can start to make a task now. So the third step is to make a centralized task for our client computers. Click on Task and click New Task. Here we can choose to make a file backup, system backup, disk backup, partition backup, or SQL Server backup, and basic sync, real-time sync, and mirror sync. Here we choose file backup, for example. Click on it. Firstly, click Add Computers to add client computers that need to execute the task. Then select the source data we need to backup. Here we can choose Select Items based on each client, or based on backup rules. Choose the first one, then we need to add the files we want to backup for each client computer. If we choose the second one, we can click Add to enter a folder's path or environment variable as rule to match the source, and click here to filter the files. Select the destination path to store our files. Click Add Storage to add NAS or Share Path. And click OK. Here we can click Settings to enable encryption or compress the backup. We can also split a large backup into multiple smaller files. Click Schedule. We can make an auto backup for daily, weekly, or monthly. Besides, we can click Advanced to select the backup type. Then we can click Scheme to automatically delete old backups. Finally, click Star Backup. If we want to execute the backup immediately, we can choose Create and Execute Tasks. Otherwise, we can choose Only Create Task. All the created tasks will be listed under Tasks tab. We can view the status of them and centrally manage them through simple clicks. If we want to execute a task manually, we can click on Backup in the top right corner and choose to run Full Backup, Incremental Backup, or Differential Backup right away. If we want to change the computers to be backed up in a task, we can tap the arrow icon to expand it and choose to add computers or remove them. For further management, we can click the Advanced button. Then we will see more functions, a date backup, restore, clone task, delete, and properties. Click a date backup. We can modify this backup task after a backup is complete. We can remove all necessary clients from this backup task or change schedule and scheme. Next, when we want to add a task that is roughly similar to the one we have created, we can also use clone task to duplicate it directly and then make specific adjustments. If we don't want to perform a task anymore, we can also delete backup. There are three options after clicking it. Delete the task only, delete the task from central console and client computers, or delete both the task and image files from the central console and the client computers. Finally, 
if any of the client computers loses data or has a system crash, we can quickly recover it from the created task. Just select Restore under Advanced menu, or expand the task and right-click the specific computer to restore. We can even restore data from one computer to another computer directly. That is all for how to create and manage backup tasks for multiple computers from one central console with Alme centralized backupper. Thanks for watching. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.